Hello everyone, this is Fenrir here and welcome to Would You Rather, the game where you're presented with a choice and you have two options out of which you must pick one and live the rest of your life knowing that you picked whatever you did pick. So, without any further ado, let's just get started right now, shall we? Would you rather drink Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper? Mountain Dew, no question about it. I, I've tried both of them in my travels to the United States and I much rather Mountain Dew. So, let's do that one. Yep, 53% of people agree, so I can't be wrong in that one, can I? Next. As a 15-year-old, would you rather hate your parents but have to be with them 24-7, or love your parents but have them both die a, gore a horrible gory death right in front of you? Oh my god. That's horrible! You see, I know how losing a loved one feels, so I would never pick this one. I just wouldn't do that. So I'd rather hate my parents but have to be with them 24-7, because even if I hate them, I would still have their support and they would presumably still love me and whatnot. And, and even if I hate them, I can have these very little special good moments with them, maybe? But if they're both dead... If I love them, but they both die a horrible, gory death right in front of me, I couldn't take that. Yeah, nope, I'll I'll hate them. And 67% of people agree, okay, um, I'm glad to see people are having some common sense for a change. <laughs> Let's do... Would you rather have knee-length hair or have a one-foot-tall mohawk? Well, I hate mohawks, so I'm going to go with the knee-length hair. Even though it would probably look horrible in my head, and I, it would probably feel horrible too, but at least I wouldn't look horrible, or not as horrible as I would with a mohawk. No disrespect to people with mohawks, okay? Let's go to the next one. Would you rather be Napoleon or be Julius Caesar? Well... Napoleon. Really? Is it because Caesar's empire was, like, big? Because I don't think I could possibly manage that. I would rather be, like, this great strategist and not, you know, <laughs> have an empire that I probably wouldn't be able to manage because I'm terrible at managing things and, well, yeah, I just, okay, let's go. Would you rather wrestle an alligator or wrestle a bear? <laughs> Okay, so this is a tough one, but I think I would rather wrestle an alligator. Because if I was wrestling an alligator, I know that I probably just have to look out for the mouth most of everything, because the mouth is like, like you know, the most dangerous part. But if I... If I wrestle an alligator, I have to take care of the mouth, but not so much with the, the clouds. The claws. The claws. The claws! I'm sorry about that. But if I wrestle a bear, it can hurt me with his claws, it can hurt me with his mouth, it can hurt me... There's... Basically, I think I would have to be less careful with an alligator than I would have to be with a bear. Of course, I would have to be <laughs> very careful with both, but... Alligator. Totally an alligator. And 60% people agree, that's... I'm not making such bad choices today! Let's see, would you rather be unable to open doors unassisted or be unable to climb stairs unassisted? Now, on a daily basis, most of what I do is close doors, so I'm not sure if this, if, if this like, includes doors, includes closing doors? Because if it does, I don't know. But let's just base ourselves in what is textually written here, so be unable to open doors unassisted, which means I can close them, or be unable to climb stairs unassisted, which is basically every sense of the stairs. I would rather be unable to open doors unassisted, because when I close the door, I can have somebody else open it from the other side. But if I can't climb stairs, I would pretty much have to go assisted everywhere I go, because there's stairs like everywhere. And I don't have to open doors as often as I have to climb stairs. So I would rather be unable to open doors and assist it. Oh, that's a tight one, but... Climb stairs, really? I think in my daily life I go around stairs where, way more than I go around doors, so... I guess most people don't do that, maybe. 
Anyway, would you rather live in Sao Paulo, Brazil or live in New York, USA? I am not attracted to the idea of living in Brazil as I'm attracted to the idea of living in the United States. New York sounds awesome, despite the traffic and everything, but you know what? It's always been one of my dreams to live up there <laughs> with you guys. And, well, some of the guys who watch this are from the United States. Not all of them, but blah, 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 blah. I would rather live in New York. Long story short. Yep, yeah, most people agree. Great, yeah, totally. Screw Brazil, I want to go to the USA. Trump's not gonna let me, is he? Anyway, would you rather eat a 4-inch circumference venomous spider? Or an equally venomous wasp? Well, both of these are gross, so... I'll just... It's not like I can even leave it up to chance, because I, I definitely have to choose one or the other. There's no random answer or something. I have... I am forced to choose between one of these. I would rather... I think the wasp would be less juicy, so... <laughs> so... Uh, it would be gross, like, biting into the spider and have- Oh god! <laughs> I'd rather the wasp. I'd rather eat the wasp. Because it's not going to be as juicy, so... <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, never mind. Would you rather have your best friend be a girl or have your best friend be a guy? Well, I have my best friend be a girl. Is that how I say it? I have my best friend be a girl. And I know how that is, and it's awesome, it's great, but I also have a very close guy friend, and he's also great, but... If I had to choose, I'd go with the girl, because even if it comes down to something like relationship problems, I could totally get more help with a girl of, about what girls like. Then I would be able to get over if a guy was over what girls like. Or depends on the guy, I don't know. Is he a gay guy? He probably can. Oh god, I'm going to get so much shit for saying that. I'd rather have it be a girl. And it's a tight one, but okay, yeah. I can I can totally do with that, yeah. Next. Would you rather lick a public bathroom floor? Or lick a public bathroom stall handle? Oh my god. Well, actually, public bathrooms in the U.S. are very nice and tidy, but public bathrooms over here in Ecuador? They are fucking gross, man, I tell you that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do any of these ever, but if it came down to a choice, I would rather lick the stall handle. Because it's just hands that go through there. Bathrooms here in Ecuador are so gross that if you lick the floor, you would totally be dead the next morning, so... I would lick the handle. Yeah, I would lick the handle. That, <laughs> That's definitely it. Would you rather eat a rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish or bathe it naked in vomit? What the hell kind of question is this? How do... I don't want to choose. Eat a rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish and bathe naked in vomit? What the hell? Well, looking at it objectively, eating a rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish would give me a terrible breath, would taste awful, I would probably vomit it myself to fill up that bath, so I would rather eat the rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish, because if I bathe it naked and vomit, I would totally end up stinking, and if I eat the rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish, I would totally just brush my teeth and it would be fine, it would be just a terrible experience, but if I bathe it naked and vomit, I would just be smelly for who knows how long and no, 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 I would rather eat the rancid mixture and seriously? Well, I sure didn't see that one coming. Okay, so, would you rather get stuck in an elevator on your own for 53 hours? Or be the lone survivor of a bank hostage situation. That's easy. I wouldn't have to survive. I mean, if I got stuck in an elevator on my own for 53 hours, I would probably die. 
out of starvation, out of thirst, out of whatever. But the other option guarantees that I'll be the lone survivor of bank hostage situation, which means that I do get to survive, and hopefully I'm not visiting the bank with my family or anything like that, so... Granted that I wouldn't go with any of my loved ones to the bank because I usually don't, I would rather be the lone survivor of a bank hostage situation, no question about that, let's just... Yep, yeah, totally, I would die in the elevator, I, I would be guaranteed to survive the bank hostage situation, so... I see no downside to that one. Would you rather burn to death or drown? Well, I've heard that drowning is the most painful way to go, but... But if I drowned... If I burned to death, I told you already in the first question, I can't stand heat. I can't, I'm like... it. I'm na naturally hot, so... If I burned to death, that would be horrible. I, I can I just think of all the heat that I would have to be facing, and I don't want to go through that. I just I think I'd rather drown. I think I'd rather go through. I'm also very good at handling pain, so if I would die anyway, I think I'd rather drown. Yep, and most people agree I would rather drown. The heat and it burning off your skin and everything in you, it, that would be... I think that would be more painful than drowning, although people, uh, from every source that I've ever heard, they always say that it is more painful to drown, but I would I would have to go with the drowning. I, w I don't think I could stand, well, I would die, obviously, but I don't think I'd be able to stand burning to death. I would rather. Okay, so for the last question for this episode, let's see. Would you rather drive 200 miles up uh, well over the legal drunken limit or drive 200 miles after being awake straight for 72 hours straight I would rather drive 200 miles after being awake for 72 hours straight because I would be very dizzy if I was you know drunk while driving and that would be terrible I think there's a l less there's less of a chance of me killing myself if I just drive while deprived of sleep. Although I could probably sleep on the wheel too and kill everyone, but when I, out of my experience driving, I just like, you know, I just like drive and uh, get a little more awake and focused whenever I'm behind the wheel. But if I'm drunk, I obviously would not be able to focus, so I guess, yeah, I would rather drive after being awake for 72 hours straight. It's not such a long drive, and it's less dangerous. I think it would be overall less dangerous. So, that covers it for this one episode of um, Would You Rather. So, if you would see, if you would like to see more of this in the future, just make sure to let me know. I'll record other episodes right away, right after this one, in order to have something in case you guys want to see more of this, but I think that will be pretty much it, unless there's some, like, legitimate interest in seeing more of this, which I don't think will possibly be the case, because I don't have that big of a subscriber count, but never mind that, I'll still do this because it's fun, so... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one! Bye-bye!